What's going on? What is going on, everybody? Today we're going to be playing some Long Dark. I haven't played Long Dark in a long time, so this is going to be a lot of fun. I think I'm going to start a Stalker game, but we, uh, we shall see. What's going on? Sick. How does that sound? Is that all right? Can you hear me okay? Okay. Survival. We're Gucci. What's up, everybody? All right, so we're starting a new game. We're thinking stalker. Yeah, I think we're stalker. What's up, A-Cat? How's it going, man? Thanks for stopping by. It's awesome. It's the first stream ever, so welcome, welcome. We're glad to have you. We're glad to have you here at FFG. All right. What are we thinking? Do we want to go random? Do we want to go random? Hmm. We're gonna start. We're gonna start in Costa Highway. I'm I'm familiar with that place for now, just to remember where I'm going a little bit. That'll give me uh, some footing for now. Let's try this out. Okay. Yeah. Free runner. You've sprinted 50 kilometers. Uh, sprinting is definitely nice to have. Um, we want to start with this. Definitely important. Yeah, these are perks. These are perks. Um, depending on the... Uh, the difficulty, you can have different amounts, but these are earned through doing uh, whatever is asked here. So like you've spent um, a total of 100 days outside and then you can yeah use this in new gameplay, so. You've survived 500 days. I mean, come on, that's a good one. Uh, your body is adapted to these tough conditions. You now consume 10% of your calories. Food's important in this game, but it's not nearly as important as... Mm, let's go Freerunner. Let's do this, guys. Twitch. Twitch stream. Stalker. Yo, this is so cool. I'm really glad to have you here. Let's go, boys. Uh, nope, not a previous save. This is a brand new fresh start. Fresh start, fresh start. Haven't played in a long time, so don't be expecting too much, but let's see how we do here. If we get off with like a rifle and some basic supplies off the beginning, we should be doing pretty good, but uh, we'll have to see how RNG treats us. Let's go. Oh, you know, man, Canada. Born and raised in Canada. Pick up some stones. All right, looking like a pretty decent day. Kind of cold, but I'm familiar with where we're starting, so that's nice. We're going to want to head downwards. Just got to make sure I don't break my ankle here. Nice. How's this looking? This running okay? Looks haunted. Let's go. Beauty, beauty. Glad to hear it. So we're starting off in Costa Highway. Nice, beautiful, sunny day. Very nice. 
Now this game's gonna be getting um it's it's got like a seasons pass slash DLC going on right now. They are in the process of adding things over I think like the next year or so. I think they're a little bit behind right now just on um on that content coming out. They've been having a couple issues, but that's okay. But uh, as the game gets updated, if we have a good time on this today, we'll definitely be uh, starting with that new content. So this is this game is this uh, this stream, so just get familiar with playing again and uh, see how it goes. But should be a lot of fun. Coming up to our first shelter already, which is pretty sweet. Let's see if we can find some stuff to take. What do we got? Um, Warren Cotton Toque, that's nice. We got over here recycled can, that's nice to have. I don't know if they uh, switched the buttons, no. Just haven't played in a while. Got a toque on now, it's helpful. Uh, the the difficulty is stalker. We're playing just default stalker settings. No, uh, no changes. See if we can get and clean up a couple of achievements that we don't have already. Get ourselves some cloth there. Warming up a little bit in this in this shelter here. Now stalker, it's the third difficulty out of four, so it's not the hardest, but it's 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 decent. It's decently hard. You got to be pretty conservative with what you're doing. Broom there. See, like, you know, not finding too much yet, which is good. Got ourselves a metal pail here, but we can't do anything with this yet because we don't have a, ha um, a hacksaw. Take some of this cloth, use this time to warm up a little bit. So the main goal right now is to get ourselves down to the fishing cabins because if we can get down to the fishing cabins if we can get down to the fishing cabins then we can start to look for um, hatchets and um, a rifle maybe a revolver depending on how lucky we can get here uh, what does the difficulty affect so the difficulty affects how feral the wildlife is towards you um, it also affects how cold the weather is, how crazy blizzards are, um, how scarce food is. It mainly just takes all the dials and turns them back just a little bit. Uh, I think we've pretty much done everything we can in here, so let's pop out of here and keep heading downwards. Um, I'd say this is more like, yeah, it's like a medium hard. Because um, I'm, I'm quite sure that interloper is... Um, it's it's very 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 difficult if you aren't familiar with the locations and how to traverse between locations in this game you need to know where you're going for sure you don't want to be stuck in a blizzard with um, no understanding of where you're going so this is a really good place to set up a base you've got a couple decent um, shelters here fishing camps I was actually surprised how quickly we found these so that's nice. Starting off with two great items already, a whetstone and a hunting knife. Hunting knife is pretty good quality as well. Um, yes, yeah, so you can craft in this game. Um, can you craft a hacksaw? I don't think you can craft a hacksaw. Actually, yes, I think you can. You have to go to... <sighs> it's been a while. Mm. You can craft. You can craft like a uh, makeshift hatchet and knife. Um, you can craft. And you can't do that unless you're in a particular place. I want to say it's um, by the boat. I think the boat has a forge. And at the forge you can you can forge these items that if, you, uh, if you're playing a really hard play 
playthrough and you're not finding the items you need, you can go there and um, and craft those items. Antiseptic is always nice to have. Now, just a little quick tip: if you're breaking down curtains to get some cloth, if you don't have to, don't use your hunting knife. Um, you're going to wear out your hunting knife and instead just use your hands. It takes a little bit longer, but like the difference of four minutes, you're in a warm environment anyway, so you might as well just stay warm and not, not do any damage to your knife. I'm just going to take all this cloth because you never know when you're going to need to repair any clothing. And uh, most of the time... Like this is this is planned to be a pretty quick playthrough. It'd be awesome to just keep moving all the time. So I'm not going to be taking too much shelter in the same places if I don't have to. Pick up some pork and beans there. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at all this stuff. So the main thing is you always want to have fresh water. Because you can survive with no food for quite quite some time, but when it comes to uh, I gotta stop pressing that button. But while we're here, we can just take a look and see. So right now I'm just gonna. Oh, I can't. Right, I need a sewing kit. I was just gonna quickly repair that, but I can't yet because I do not have a sewing kit. So, grab these and head out of here. Get some more cloth here, you know. Can never have too many pieces of cloth. This is exciting. This is really cool. It's a first stream. Happy to have, you know, anybody who comes by here, checks us out. This channel is going to have a lot of different games on it. We're going to be having a good time. So that's what it's all about. Meeting some cool people, having some good conversation. And I am a little sick right now, so I kind of... Kind of sound a little weird, but I think I'll kick it, kick it soon. So now sometimes in these uh, in these mountains of skids, you can find a hatchet, which is quite helpful if you can come across a hatchet. Look at that beauty! Looking at a hatchet here, folks. We've already got a knife, a whetstone, and a hatchet, which seems pretty good. Seems pretty pretty good. Lots of wildlife out here. See a lot of deer. Saw some wolves. I think over this direction, which is awesome. Did I miss this one? Don't know if I went through here yet. Let's take a look. Now, obviously, once you loot everything in this game, it's gone. So, um, one of the one of the things that makes this game difficult is that over time, depending on how many days you survive. Once you take all the, the cloth and, you know, all of these things from these places, you don't have access to that stuff anymore. So, eventually you start just living off of deer and bear and moose, rabbits. And, uh, that's, that's what you're limited to, which is a lot of fun. Flashlight, never really understood the point of that. I think it's, uh... It's a heavy item, you don't really need it. Just carry around a torch. Don't go out at night. I mean, as often as you cannot play this game in the um, in the dark, the better off you're going to be. Because <laughs> the wildlife is quite rabid at night, so just got to be careful. Got to know their patterns of how they travel. But I am looking forward to uh, the DLC they've been talking about adding. I'll make this game a, a much more in depth than it already is. Are there raccoons? Good question. Uh, there aren't actually any raccoons. Um, I don't think there's any plans to add any raccoons yet. But uh, you, you know, I guess you never know. That could come out anytime. But they are talking about adding, um, I think, cougars. Cougars would be pretty cool. 
probably very fast. That would be really tough to get away from. But um, but mainly this game, you're you're living off deer. You're trying to get away from bears, and uh, and wolves are actually very, very, very dangerous in this game as well. So gotta be careful. Hey, cat, how'd you find us, my guy? We appreciate you stopping by. How'd you come across us? <laughs> Is this because of your profile pic? I like that, man. Hey, cat's rocking a raccoon. What do we got over here? We got anything over here? Nothing yet. Now, if you look in the bottom left corner, you can see like temperature, you can see focus, which is based on sleep. Um, you've got water, which is your third option there, and you've got hunger as the fourth. It's just really important to keep track of water in this game. Focus is quite important because if you're very tired, you can't carry as much gear. Therefore, it makes you slow and you're more susceptible of getting caught by wildlife. Um, stones are really good when you don't have a weapon at the beginning. You can use them to scare off wolves, but I mean, it's very, very difficult to hit them. Uh, but they're mainly used to collect rabbit. You can kind of knock a rabbit out with it and then finish off that rabbit with your hands. Now, if you look in the top right corner right now, you can see kind of where we are in the day and night scale. Um, we're coming into, into nighttime. So we don't want to be out too much later. We've still got some free time here, but we do want to be careful with how we're moving. Going to hit this bunker here. Mainly what we're looking for is a weapon. Um, chances of finding a weapon this early. Sewing kit's beautiful. That's very helpful. Sorry, I'm probably quick and clicking through all of these um, items quite quickly. I'll try and slow that down a little bit. Um, now, if you come across places like this, so you can take the charcoal that was obviously burned in this stove before, and you can use the charcoal to mark places on your map. And that's just going to help you understand what the what the map looks like in, in the region. And there are ways that you can mark where you've been using spray paint, but we have not found spray paint yet. Um, I'm actually going to take a second here and mark this. So all you do is survey the local, local area there. And as you can see here, it's just showing now that we, we've gone through these fishing camps over here. Um, and we're at this fishing hole here. So we're going to head across. There's actually, if I remember correctly, there's a, a nice house on the top of this hill. And wildlife seems to be no threat currently, which is, I'm going to take advantage of that. We're just going to get across the water. Actually, we're going to hit this first here. Can you attack with a hatchet? Oh, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there are wolves crying. I'm hoping you can hear that. But they are getting quite loud. Um, can you attack with the hatchet, though? Good question. You cannot attack with the hatchet, except for if you get jumped on by a wolf and it's like a last resort to push them off. Fishing line is nice. Fishing line is nice. Take some more charcoal here. And let's get back on our way. Mm. That's a deer there. Now, in terms of volume, can you guys hear the game sounds quite well? Or game audio is a bit quiet. Can't hear the wolves, but you can hear the birds. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pop into options really quick. See if I can turn this up a little bit for you guys. Let's turn it all the way up. And just tell me if this makes any difference for you guys. If not, I'll uh, take a look and see if I can ch make some changes on the on the dashboard for Twitch. 
pick up some sticks here. You use sticks for fire, obviously. And um, now here's the thing. This is kind of a scary place to be right now because there sometimes is a wolf hanging out. We don't want to be caught with a wolf right now. But luckily we made it. We're just going to take a second here and mark this because this is a great place to know where we are at. Beautiful. So we're covering some good ground already, my friends. Covering some good ground already. Yeah, so the master volume. Good call on that. I wonder if there's... I don't want to take too much time to look into this right now. But definitely important that you guys can hear the game. So I will definitely have to take a second. Now this is kind of tough. We're in a dark building. And I don't want to be using my matches in order to get around. But I don't have an option right now. Because we don't have a lantern. We need a lantern. We must find a lantern. But the good thing is, for some reason I thought I only had... Uh, it's kind of strange. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says that I have 12 matches, but in the bottom right corner of my screen, I guess you can't see that, but I do have 32. So we're going to use one to just pick up a few things here. I might be able to actually find a lantern in here quickly. Wow, that did not last long. But I am close to a bed. So what I'm going to do here is just have a little bit of... Ooh. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, yes. This is what we shall do. Burn one more match. Going to burn a match. Going to head over to here. And here's another little fun fact. The water from a toilet is fresh. You can drink that water and you will not be sick. So we're going to have some of that water we just grabbed. Have some toilet water there. A little quick sip sip. And back into bed we go to start our second day, folks. I don't think my guy is too, too tired, but we do want to sleep until morning. So I'm thinking eight hours, nine hours should give us like a good start on the day. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, so we woke up fully rested. We didn't get to sleep the entire eight hours because I did not have room in my focus bar. So it wakes you up um, depending on how much sleep you need. You can't just continually sleep. Um, but there are two different things that you can do to combat this. You can pass time. It does use more calories to pass time instead of sleep. Um, but what we're going to do is, <laughs> I really need to find a storm lantern like today, this next day. That'll be a huge achievement if we can find a storm lantern, everybody. Let's have some more water. And uh, hmm. I'm going to pass a little bit of time here. I just need to be able to sleep or wait this out so I can actually see where I'm going. So, uh, yeah, took me a second to remember what, what I was doing there. Just enough until we can see some sunlight. A little bit more. Oh man, it is still dark. Hmm. <laughs> You're going to be okay, my friend. Beautiful. So, here we are. Now, you can go through these. I don't want to carry this. Just in case I press a button. <gasps> can I put these away? Is it Z? X? Sorry, guys. I just got to remember my keys here. Okay, we'll carry this for now. That's fine. Whoa, threw a rock at the dresser. Whoops. Right now, what we're looking for is some more clothing. I 
what we're going to do also is just quickly fix up the little bit of equipment I have right now, now that we have a, now that we have a um, sewing kit. Now, repair rate isn't always 100%, depends on the piece of clothing. As you can see, I was successful that time, which is great, and that's just all 100% now. Everything else is still, ooh, put these on. And we're gonna break these down. It takes an hour and 15 minutes, holy cow. We're gonna do it though. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, so we've gone, oh. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that's, that's a blizzard if I've ever heard one. That's a blizzard. You do not want to be outside with with no knowledge of where you're going during this, you know. These are one of the days where if you, okay. This is what we've been looking for. Beautiful, beautiful. In pretty decent condition, which is also great. And we've got ourselves a lantern, everybody. Beautiful. Yeah, we'll, we'll turn it up next time for sure. Sorry if you guys can't hear this completely, but we will be playing around with the levels next time, just so we can make sure that you guys can experience the blizzard just like I'm going to have to. <laughs> um, but we'll go through these cabinets here, see if we can pick up some extra food. Now this game does have a weight, a weight limit. You can't just be carrying around all the items in the world you want. At the beginning of the game, obviously, it's quite lenient because you don't have all the tools and you don't have, you know, all the heavy gear. But as you play and as you progress, you do have to make better decisions of what you're going to bring along with you on your daily expeditions. Let's take a look and see if we can find some more chocolate bars or something. Oh, it's windy, buddy. It's windy. If you had a hat on and you wanted to keep it, you better be holding on to it. You know what I mean? Better be careful. Beautiful. Now, as you can see, I'm, that bottom bar there, bottom left bar there, is my health. Um, now you can start to see that I'm, you know my condition isn't a hundred percent anymore, and that's because I haven't been eating. And in this game, whoops. In this game, it's not really a big deal that you keep your condition 100%. You want to keep your, you, you just don't want to, you don't want to be caught with no water and no food for more than, you know, two days or whatever. Because in order to regain condition, you, you must, you must have all of your four um, gauges in the white. All right, so we got ourselves a cooking pot, which is absolutely amazing. You can cook more food, you can boil more water all at the same time, instead of using those little recyclable cans. But I will say, we're doing quite well for gear. Coastal Highway has been pretty good to us so far. Walking around with a couple good pieces of, um, a couple good pieces of equipment and, and like tool-wise. And, uh, yeah, I'm just debating on if I want to roll out of here and see, is there no, all right, can I have some water, let's have a little bit. Beauty, 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 sweet. I think it's time to head outside. <clears throat> See how bad this is. See how bad we got it. Wow. Yeah, it's bad. It's bad. 
So, as you spend more time in a blizzard, it also gets progressively colder because your clothes get wet and the wind chill gets worse and all of that fun stuff. So, this isn't going to be something that I'd survive if I'm going to be moving too far. So, currently, today might be a little bit of a chill day. And once this weather comes down, we might be able to move a little bit further. So, right now, all I'm trying to do is just see if I can pick up anything around here. But there, there is wildlife. This stuff is used for crafting. You can make um, some holistic recipes that heal you use them for bandages. Old man's beard lichen. Oh, it's windy, alright, dude. It is windy. Alright. Not going to be much of a productive day. But the good news is we did find that storm lantern. Much easier than I was expecting. Let's pop in here. Take a break from that wind. Holy cow. So. Let's see what we can do to not waste the time. So as you can see here. You, you see that little bit of. Uh, that blue bar there. It says 28% wet. That's just obviously caused from being outside in a blizzard and everything was starting to get pretty cold. Hmm. Forgot that I picked those up. Beautiful. Now, being as we broke down those running shoes earlier, we were able to get some cured hide. So now we can take that cured hide, have a 70% 70, 70 chance of success here, and we can repair these gloves a little bit. Now, uh, if your gear is in better condition, ooh, first time we failed, we got one more chance. Mm. Two fails. Too bad. It's okay. We do have another pair of boots, and these are actually better. Slow me down a little bit for run speed, which is okay, but we get a little bit more protection. And, uh, and everything else is actually better. So we're going to be using these instead. Just going to throw these on. See, see down here. We can see um, our warmth bonus and uh, windproof bonus, protection, and sprint. I want to keep those numbers obviously as high as you can. Sprint comes in handy when you're trying to run from something. But uh, for the most part, if you end up in a bad situation... Sprinting is only going to get you so far. So, this game, as much as it is, as it is random, it's just being prepared. So, do we want to break these down? I believe so. Take these two cured pieces of leather, use this time to warm up, and it sounds like we've got a little bit of relief outside, which is awesome. Which is awesome. So now that we have that taken care of, we can, um, we'll eat a little bit of food. Why not? You know, might as well eat a little bit of food. Eat some chips, eat some ketchup chips. Have a little bit of, have a swig of water. And now that we got some relief, let's hit the great outdoors. Not much relief. It's probably um, a little bit warmer, but definitely still a windy, blizzardy day. Holy. This is why you um, gotta know where you're going in this game. You'll be dead real quick. Just gonna wait it out. Just gotta wait out the storm. So, let's take a second, let's try and fix these gloves then. 
make use of this time. Failed again. Wow. Come on. Give us some good luck here. Beautiful. Those are fixed up a little bit. Good stuff, good stuff. Um, what do we got here? So, tons of uh, clothing options, obviously, because we started a new game. We don't have any of these yet. So, as we get ourselves out of being trapped in this cabin, we'll be able to uh, find some new clothing and benefit from the warmth. Be a little bit more risky. But... There's no point in killing myself yet, so let's just wait this out for a second. So it's pretty relentless weather though today. Even if we have a little bit of sunlight right now still, which we, we might be able to squeeze by here, I'm gonna just try and get us out of this location for now. You wanna eat the worst food first because food does go bad over time. So looking at this can of sardines, 35%. We could potentially get sick from this, but we're going to take, take a chance. Hungry Coggin. I don't see what your comment was, but my moderator shut you down, my guy. So that must not have been a nice comment. We, we only speak positivity here, my guy. Only, uh, only solutions, no problems, you know what I mean? All right, so we're going to take this this chance here. We're just going to see if we can get a little bit of distance covered today. It's still quite early in the morning. I see, uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm looking directly at a wolf. He's quite far away. We might not have any issues with him. But, I mean, the scenery in this game, the art style is absolutely beautiful. Like, it's just, it's so cool. One of the one of the amazing things about this game is just the scenery with this art style. They did a fantastic job. Now, usually I don't run this much, but I'm just kind of taking advantage of the situation right now. Usually if you're planning a full day trek, you want to save your energy and not be burning it on running around. So, but we're still uh, still early. Still early in the game. And we're just trying to Traverse as much of the land as we possibly can right now while we have the chance. So we haven't been to um, we haven't been to this hut over here. So we're gonna just keep exploring these huts because I do know that you can get lucky and find a rifle. Ah, uh, just promos. I got you. No worries. No worries. So what do we? Oh. I must have been through here already. Unless they were just empty. Uh, you know what? We might actually take this chance. Hunt a couple uh, rabbits. See how my my throwing game is. See if we can throw. Knock out a couple rabbits. Break some necks. Now that has already been looted. Um... Just trying to figure out how I want to do this. I don't have a ton of time. So I think what we're going to do for this next little while is just still stay pretty safe with how much we're going to move. We've already been through there. Um, we're going to just... If you ever see crows like this, it usually means there's a dead body. Now it could be something that a wolf killed or it could be um, a dead human. There, there are some bodies scattered along Great Bear Island here. Great Bear Island is the name of this of this world that we are inside right now. All right, so they're just kind of... Oh, here we go, guys. So, got a body. I can't seem to get around him. So just pop up here. And you can loot the body, and it looks like there's a knife there as well. Got ourselves two hunting knives, which is awesome. Awesome. We'll have to work on the sounds, though, because if you guys can't experience the sounds in this game, that's it's very important that I get the volume right. So we'll work on that, guys. We'll work on that. 
Are there any NPC humans? Good question. Um, no NPC humans. Not in, not in the sandbox mode. Um, they will be adding a trader, which is absolutely amazing. But that is in the DLC. That is planned in the DLC. Not sure the extent of what you can trade, but that would be very cool for longevity of a sandbox playthrough. To be able to trade skins or um, items and, and get things that you may not have would be very cool. But currently, in sandbox mode, there are no NPCs. Now, I know this looks a little bit boring, guys, but we are back in a building, and we are going to sleep it off again. Because you got to work with what you're given in this game. So That weather was quite harsh and pretty much blizzarded. Was a blizzard all day. So judging by my focus meter, I can probably sleep for a good hmm, seven hours. So that's not going to be enough yet, unfortunately. So we're going to just mm, might as well sleep for now. See how much time we got left. Might be able to use uh, the early morning hours to double check what we've got for. Got like 30 milliliters of water and, uh, and a soda pop. So we might have some water and just make a bunch of water, guys. We've got that pot, which is absolutely amazing for making water. So we might have our first fire and we can have a celebration at the fire pit because fire is absolutely amazing they did a great job with the the value of fire in this game is just absolutely insane like you need water and way, one way that you can make water in this game is to is to take snow and We got some new thermal underwear, guys. This is big. This is big. It's going to help us stay a little bit more warm. Throw those on. Got another pair of socks. Life is looking good here. Got some steel toe boots for when we need to kick that wolf right in the head. Bing bong. I'm kidding. You can't kick in this game, but that's okay. Um, they're a lot safer. Keep us a little bit warmer. <laughs> you like that, eh, brother? All right, so throw those work boots on. Why not, right? Keep keep our toesies warm. Apparently, I was never through here, so I I'm I'm scatterbrained right now, guys. But we don't want to. If you have if you have something like this open, if you're if you're burning your lantern, you don't want to engage with anything that's gonna fast fast time. It's gonna use your your oil from your lantern. So if you know kind of where that stuff was. I'm just going to go over here. I'm going to cheat the system a little bit. Break this. Oh, whoa, whoa. Break that down. <clears throat> Requires light to break down with tool. Yeah, so that's why you just use your hands. Use your hands when you can, guys. No kicky. <laughs> you got that right. No kicky, no kicky. So... Still got a lot of like curtains and stuff we can break down, but we really need a fire. So I'm thinking what we could do is we can start this morning off. I mean, it's not morning yet, but I'm still pretty awake, but we need water. We, we just, we need water. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop outside. We're going to, we're going to take a chance here and we can, we're going to see if we can get a nice crispy fire going to keep us warm. It's cold and there could be bears real close. But we're gonna we're gonna take this chance and we're gonna risk it. Let's try and see if we can get a fire started up. Now, when you're making a fire in this game, it's important to know like what direction the wind is going, cause that that can come in and blow your fire down. Um, we're gonna we have some accelerant, which is massive. Super lucky that we have this. Let's get this fire started. Come on, come on, come on. We're good. We're not in the clear yet, but we are doing okay. You want to get this thing going nice and long and nice and warm. So even with a 7, 8, 9, 10 degree fire, we're still, we're still cold. But 
We're gonna we're gonna get this fire going warm enough that it's not gonna hurt us. Not gonna be freezing out here. So we've got ourselves a recycling can. Um just gonna click on this and make some water. Max you can make in a recycle can is half a liter, but if you use the cooking pot, you can make two liters. So we're gonna start that. Now, I mean how beautiful is this fire? We've got fire. Unbelievable. Nice and warm, twenty five degrees. Very nice. Like, come on, that's that's pic that's picturesque right there. Come on, it's absolutely beautiful. This game, the art style is incredible. So, 55 minutes, and we're going to have ourselves two liters of water. This is going to be melted a little bit quicker. So, there's, there's two different stages to water. You need to boil it first, or you need to melt the snow first, and then you need to boil it. And boiling is going to prevent you from getting sick. So, just never drink water that's unsafe in, in the world and in games. Alright, let's do this. I'm going to pass a little bit of time. Pick that water up. We got ourselves some fresh water. Now we can have a nice sip before we get back to bed for another couple hours. And make use of that. So that'll be perfect. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. This fire is amazing. So what do we got left? We got 54 minutes until the water's boiled. 54 minutes. Yeah, so usually um, you can run into a bear. A bear can come up... Uh, Come up around here. Give you give you some issues, but we're we're doing okay right now. So, just trying to make as much water as we can. While we're at this fire, get another three hours of it staying lit, provided we don't get hit with uh hit with anything. So we're looking at our gear here, guys. If you look up here, your top left corner, this is your backpack, and this is how much room you've got. I don't think you'll actually be able to see just based on where I've got the overlay, so that's okay. But maybe, just maybe it might make sense to remove that for next time, just in case. But anyways, these are obviously all the items that we've picked up so far, with their percentages just of, you know, their condition. Uh, simple tools, I think you can use that to make particular items. We've got 61 pieces of cloth, which is amazing. Got ourselves some dusting sulfur. Apparently this is used to craft ammo. I think we've only ever done it once. Um, but that is a very, you have to go to a very particular place in this game. And it's got to be very particular conditions in order to get through. Um, but if you bring a bunch of shell casings, like as you fire ammo in this game, it drops the shell casing. And you can take that shell casing and mix it with things like dusting sulfur. And I think there's something else and you can craft the bullets back again so it's not like if you use a bullet it's gone forever you do have to go through that that process of making it again but you're not it's not like you can use all the ammo in the, in the game and then you have no way of using a gun again so but the goal today now like this this coming day would be to get down to the gas station down here and at that gas station potentially find a gun because if we can start to find a gun, I'm going to go, I think I'm going to go a little bit aggressive with um, with the wildlife. See if we can start making some craftable items. I think that'd be great. Yeah, buddy. So we got another 24 minutes. Sorry, I've just been talking, guys. It's kind of going off. Popping off here. Might as well take a second. While we're by the fire and while that water is cooking, we got another okay 21 minutes, so we don't have to worry about that burning off if we replace or we repair some gear while we wait. It's really important to keep your boots good because you don't want to get hypothermia. Socks are super important. Having really good pants are super important. Um, but we want to find some more torso gear. 
Yeah, warm, warmth bonus is getting pretty good so far, but I um, want to find a way to keep keep our stuff in good shape here. So, I'm just going to... Yeah, it's 30, 30 minutes to replace that. We might not actually need to sleep. We worked ourselves through the night time, which is actually not a bad strategy either sometimes. So we got two, two liters of fresh water, which is amazing. We're going to just... How much time we got left on this fire? Two hours? We might as well cook ourselves. Um, yeah. I remember the first couple times I played this game, I was thinking, okay, so you have to keep your, your food your food gauge full all the time like you don't want to be starving and whatever else but in reality you want to you want to keep yourself at a good level you don't want to go too long without eating but you don't need to uh, you don't need to be full all the time you do get bonuses you get the well fed bonus if you can stay fed for I think 24 hours straight um, but it's it's really important that you you just be smart and you ration your food especially at the beginning when you can't be killing wildlife all the time and but this game is incredible. It's just such an experience. And I'm, I'm looking forward to sharing that with you guys. It'll be cool to bring you guys along. As I remember how to play the game. and It'll be really cool. And we'll try and do it all. Um, we'll quickly boil this water off. Take that. Boil this off. Now, it should start getting warmer and we made it through another night beautiful guys we made it through another day fire kept us going all night this water is safe we're gonna take it and we're gonna pick up this pot always remember to pull you know your cans or your your cooking pot with you just just be safe um, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna pop a torch we're going to bring ourselves a torch and we're going to head down to the gas station now, guys. Let's see how far we can get. It's a nice, clear day, which is also amazing. If you guys, I don't know if you guys remember, but this is where we came from. That, when we got stuck in that blizzard, we were up there. And we worked ourselves back to the fishing camps here. So, if we follow this, if we follow this road, it's going to lead us to some more fishing camps. But it's also going to lead us to a gas station. Bonus is for current playthrough, or is that for a new one? So the well, the well-fed bonus is um, it's it's a temporary bonus that you can get um, while you're playing through the game. It only lasts, uh, I think, another day, or it might last until you actually aren't well-fed, which is like when you go back into the red, like I am right now for food. Um, but it's a temporary bonus, and I think it adds a five kilogram extra weight for your your backpack so you can carry more weight just keeping an eye on the right here we got some wolves torches do attract them a little bit easier than than if you're just kind of walking through without one but i'm trying to use the torch to keep the air a little bit warmer for us um we don't have anything to pop that trunk but you do want to look through cars if you get a chance looking through cars is always a great way to potentially find things like I don't know if you guys saw that, but it looks like we found ourselves our first book. Beautiful. So this here is just like a book you can read. And if you read books in this game, you can learn skills quicker. Um, obviously, you can you can harvest carcasses in this game. And as you level that up, you're going to get more meat. You're going to do it quicker. Um, but reading books is also another great way to just kind of boost that skill. So in order to benefit from re this book, you need to read all 10 hours. It doesn't need to be all at the same time, but it needs to be in hour proportions. Hour, hour portions. So we're going to bring that with us because that's a great thing to do if you're stuck in a blizzard and you can't travel. You want you got something that you can do in, the, in that free time. So we're back on the move, guys. It's always good to have sticks on hand. You don't have to have two. Whoa. Oh, I think I'm going to put this out. Be a little bit safe here. I'm also going to have something to eat because if I get into a fight with the wolf, I want to have a little bit of energy to uh, make sure I'm not going to end up in a bad position here. 
now crouching this game and there are different methods that you can use to stay a little bit lower um, one thing about this game that we haven't come in contact with yet but if you are carrying meat you are a lot more susceptible to wolves being on your trail and they will hunt you and they it's not usually one there are timber wolves that fight in packs um, but these ones here these these normal just black wolves they usually fight by themselves the timber wolves are these white snow wolves that will fight you in packs so if you're ever in that situation I hope you've got a gun and I hope you've got a plan because timber wolves are very tough in this game to avoid dying and it's not like if you get into a fight you're dead right away I mean typically with a wolf um, if you can stab him in your fight he can he can cause blood loss he can hurt you he can tear your clothing and it depends on how quickly you can react to your injuries um, but that wolf should not attack you again he will most likely bleed out I'm gonna throw this torch because I don't need it I just don't know how to do that I am trying to remember how to use so my guy's frozen right now because my as you can see down there in the bottom left corner I'm actually freezing and if you spend too much time after your bar is completely red you will actually end up with uh, pneumonia and permanent health effects that can cause you to obviously struggle to survive but took some shelter it's nice and warm in this building it's warming me back up and with that the hypothermia risk is gone Wow, what a great find. It's always really nice when you can find something big, torso-wise, to keep you nice and warm. That thing will be, um, that thing is going to work wonders for us right now, which is great. Let's throw that on. We're looking pretty cool now, guys. We're looking pretty cool. Got ourselves a nice, decent light shell. Keeps us uh, much warmer. It's got some really good wind resistance. It's got a little bit of protection. And it's very light, which is great. That light shell is awesome. Just going to quickly scan through this building here. See if we can find some more um, things that we can bring with us. I'm starting to think I might set up some sort of a, some sort of a base at the gas station when we get there. But we're 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 doing well. We're definitely gonna make it there today, so that's great. Um, can you find anything that covers your face? Um, so they have things like balaclavas in this game where you can have like a full face mask kind of deal. Um, so there are a few things. I don't know if there's more than the the balaclava. I think that might be the only one, but um, that does cover your face. There are there there has been talks just with the DLC of them talking about adding more um, clothing, and some of the clothing I'm hoping will will make this game just even a little bit more interesting with what you can wear. But they do have some they do have some really good options in the in the base game so far. So so we got all that water, which is awesome. I pick this up now. Um, they're also talking about having custom items in this game so you can find a hatchet and I don't know if they're gonna put like affixes on them but uh, from my understanding they're they're trying to add a little bit more of a randomness feel to what you can find so you might be able to find yeah like an a like a hatchet that it might have particular benefits over just a normal axe which is really really cool it's always great to see when there's a little bit more randomization in a game and it just makes finding those items just so much cooler. So. So. I don't think you guys can see because my overlay is over it, but the bottom right corner is showing that I'm overweight. And that's just because I'm carrying a lot and in terms of my day focus, because I didn't sleep last night, my guy is getting a little tired, so. We're gonna 
We're going to drink and eat once we clear this building. And um, drink and eat. Oh, we don't want to be lighting the torch. There's no point for that. I am going to drop this torch. Actually, no. I'll keep it. I'll keep it for now. It's just kind of annoying to carry something and I actually like totally forgot how to how to put things away if you don't want to carry them. That's okay. I will look up hotkeys at some point. Worn dress shirt. Now we're looking fancy. It's never a bad thing to just put whatever you find on. Cause that, even even with that half a degree wind chill, a little bit of extra warmth doesn't slow us down. It's pretty light. Might as well bring it with you. I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay a little bit fed today, just because I want to make sure I'm not gonna be digging too deep into condition. Have a little bit of food here. Keep us fed for a little while, while we just keep traversing down towards the gas station. Am I carrying a lot of extra weight? What's the deal here? Seven, fourteen extra pounds. But that's, I mean, we're lugging around a lot of stuff. We're going to drop this can. Just any time you can kind of clean up a little bit of the stuff that you don't need. Some stones are important, but we don't need to be carrying around that many right now. Socks are always good to have extra, so we'll just bring what we've got extra here. Now, if you drop an item in this game, like I just did, they would just be laying on the ground. So you can pick them up again. You can kind of use everything. You can use the the landscape as a place where you can drop pretty much any gear you want, and you don't have to worry about it fading. Um, I mean, you're going to be doing it quite often if you're hunting and gathering because you can have a lot of extra meat that you can't eat right away. So found ourselves a, a spray paint can guys. So this is really good for marking um, particular things. There's something that you want to mark in the game just so you know where you've left it or where you've been or just pretty much anything and you can use spray paint to mark the mark the spot. And if you have the area explored on the map like if you've used a piece of charcoal to, to map that part of the map out. And, um, use this. wow, got ourselves a pry bar, guys. Um, it's a pretty great item. It's a nice item to have if you're going to be going through, um, if you're going through locked lockers or the trunks of cars. I'm actually quite surprised. Um, I thought that Stalker would be much harder to find items. And I feel like, you know, it's been like like a ski jacket. It's been, you know, I've been playing this game in-game two days, and I feel like I've got quite a bit of great gear. So the good thing about that is it, it, it makes me want to play very quickly. So once I have this all set up, probably take advantage of that once I have a gun and just be playing quite aggressive make this very cool to watch but for now we just keep building build up a strong character have lots of supplies on hand and then we can get a little weird with it weather's starting to set in again it sounds like so with that just gonna repair all this stuff real quick Nice. Having some pretty good luck right now with repairs. Very nice. Well, I think it's uh, mainly the water that's weighing us down. I mean, we've got six liters of fresh water, which is great. Um, but once we get to that gas station, we can drop a lot of these extra supplies. And uh, we, can, we can see what else we can find. Yeah, I am getting quite heavy, but we do have a little bit of daytime left, so I want to just try and take advantage of that as, as we get the chance. Wow! 
Ow! The weather is fierce in this game. See, the thing about wildlife is, like, it's a storm for me. And they're in the storm, obviously, but they, uh, they're just as rabid, if not more rabid. Not going to really have much of an option here. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop back in that building. And we're going to read a page. And read uh, an hour's worth of that book. And hopefully that's going to push us along a little bit. Now you need to, you need to have, you need to have focus, that second gauge, and you need to have your hunger above red in order to gain any knowledge from the book. It won't let you read the book if you're hungry or you're not focused. So in that case there, I couldn't finish the hour, so I didn't, I'm going to have to reread that little bit of the book. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Just gonna eat this energy bar. I'm gonna pop back up a little bit, and just with health. Like I said, I mean, I know that the pros out there are saying like, "Why'd you eat that? You didn't really need to eat that yet." Yeah, I know. But the the goal here is to get as much of this book read while we're waiting out the storm. And I'm gonna get a really solid night's sleep. I'm gonna I'm gonna push it here. We might be able to complete this without losing. Oh, we were close. We were close. All right, so we're super tired. We've got food in our belly. Can I have a little bit of water, and we're gonna go to sleep. One thing I do want to look into for the stream is I cannot see who's hanging out. You are hanging out. I can actually see. That's really cool. Didn't notice at first. I did not see that at first. That's cool to know. Just me, me and you, brother. Two days, 14 hours, and 36 minutes. Oh, nice. That's awesome. That's really cool to know. Um, that's actually very cool. It's just the beginning, my friends. Come by and hang out. Um, so we can, we can sleep a little bit more, so we're going to do that, actually. We're going to fill up that focus bar as much as we can, push ourselves more into the day. Weather is still very, very intense. And I can't sleep anymore. So, we're going to wait this out. Can't tell who they are unless they chat. It was super surprised though. Crushing. Yeah, awesome, man. Yeah, I feel I feel like this is a lot of fun. Like I'm already feeling like this is like a pretty natural experience, so that's great. Appreciate you hanging out though, brother. This is fun. Uh what are you up to right now? Let's check the weather, guys. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, we got quite the storm. It's quite the storm. Whoa. Man, this weather is super harsh. I can't do much with this. I think there might be... No. Your poor clown face. Yeah, dude, it's cold, man. I can't be I can't be doing much in that weather, man. I'm not going to make it too far, you know. And without a gun, I don't want to be risking I don't want to be risking the track into a, a wolf. So what we're going to do is we're just going to wait this out a little bit. Hopefully Hopefully give this a second. Um maybe why not? You know, you know what I mean? Why not? Well, let's just eat a little bit of food. Is there something that's like, you know, a little bit worse condition for food. Pop actually has some calories in it. 
So that's always a good option. <clears throat> and then also you get that recycling can or recycle can. If you uh actually I don't think you get it from you have to get it from like these pinnacle peaches and stuff like that. <clears throat> but um what we want to do right now is have a little bit of food. And I think the worst food item I have right now is this can of peaches. So we're going to have that. We're going to have that. Awesome. So we got some food in our belly. Uh, we're going to read that book. I got to find where that they keep that book though. Thought it was usually in like a a wheel, but I guess not. So read a page, and if it's still really storming, read another page. Perfect. So it looks like we've got a little bit of relief. So we've got some relief from the weather, which is great. It's cold, but I can see. So we're just going to continue on our path. I'm carrying so much water. That's the only thing. So I'm, I'm, as you can tell, I'm obviously much slower than usual. But we don't have to go too, too far. The only thing is we just got to be careful with what we run into. So. Nice. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, we'll, uh, getting a little bit of a relief. I mean, we got a nice, beautiful blue sky right now, which is great. Just gonna keep walking. Now, like I was saying before, we don't have to go too, too far. Oh, we, need to, we do need to keep heading this direction. And eventually we're gonna get to, uh, down on the left hand side of us we're going to see the gas station um, one thing about the gas station though super dangerous place lots of wolf spawns um, this is the one place in this map that I know for sure you can find a moose but the chances of finding a moose in this game I mean it's it's one every I don't know however many days and they only hang around for a couple days so if you're not ready to kill them you don't really have much of a chance um, you can find um, good indications of when a moose has been around. You'll hear them, but you'll also see that they've marked up the trees. We'll just leave some markings on the trees, which is helpful. Um, but a moose is great because they do have that rare hide and an absolute ton of meat, but they are brutes. Like, they are beasts. To take a, a moose down, man, like, you need a rifle, and if you get hit by it, if you get hit by a moose in this game, they break your ribs, they stomp on your chest, like, it's, it's quite gruesome. It takes a long time to nurse back to health when you got broken ribs. Same with bears, man, you don't want to be playing around. If you're engaging a bear, you better have a plan. There's only black bears in this game, though, so I'm assuming they're gonna they're gonna bring out grizzly bears at some point. Cause I think grizzly bears are even more vicious than black bears in real real world, real life. We're just gonna keep going, fellas. We do have that pry bar now to take advantage. So just gonna pop in this car. Got ourselves a candy bar. You can always check these glove boxes. Just take a quick look in the back seat, see if we're missing anything. Nope. Use that pry bar to force force open the open the trunk. Got ourselves some ski gloves. Now we're looking cool. 
Now we're looking cool, guys. Nothing like a nice pair of red gloves. Incredible. Still affected by the cold, harsh temperatures of Coastal Highway, which is where we are currently. We're walking down the Coastal Highway. Separates us from a couple different maps. Separates us from Mystery Lake. And, um... I think Desolation Point, but I might be wrong about that last one. Can't remember. You gotta travel through the abandoned mines, though, that's for sure. Now, we're not gonna be carrying around all this gear as soon as we get to the gas station, guys. It's quite slow when you're carrying a ton of gear so we are almost there though I can see the sign and we're coming up to some buildings so you gotta keep your eyes open for feral wildlife <laughs> this is fun. Looking forward to having some people by. Alright, what do we got? So far so good. Not seeing any... Seeing any, uh... Any wildlife? My guy's like, why are you picking up more stuff? You already know I'm so full. You can reach a particular point as well that you can't actually move if you pick up too much gear. So we're not quite there yet. Our guy's still got the ability to move. Double check over here real quick. All right. Head on in here and see what we got going on. I'm just gonna use the use the torch or use the the lantern. Find ourselves some more stuff real quick, and then we can head over to the gas station. See if we'll get blessed with a with a weapon. If we find ourselves a revolver, we can go all John Marston, but we'll have to see. Not gonna be able to carry this load for much longer. Don't worry, buddy. You don't have to. We're close. We're close. I'm leaving I'm leaving some curtains up still cuz I mean I've got more than enough cloth right now. And you don't want to take everything cuz then you'll have no chance to move.
getting wild. I am so overweight, it's ridiculous. I'm not gonna be able to move much. So here's the thing. I'm running I'm running a pretty risky business right now. I should be dropping this gear, but I'm right across the street from where I want to stop for a second, so I just gotta make it up there. So <laughs> Holy We're almost there. We're carrying a lot of stuff. Just need to get right in there. And we'll check these these buildings after. Oh dude. I need a lot of things right now. Skis are unfortunately one thing you can't have in this game yet. But that would be cool. I want to be able to build a snowmobile, you know? <laughs> Dog sled. That'd be cool. So, we got a lot of looking around this area to do. Lots of looking around, but we have made it home. We have made it where we're going to call home for a little while. So what we're going to do now is we're going to drop I don't know what that's doing. I don't know if I was drinking that. I don't know what was happening there. I'm just trying to drop it. Keep one of them on us. All of this cloth we're going to put into... We're going to set it up in this locker here. We're going to use this locker to put a lot of our gear in. Now, this locker can hold 30 kgs, so we're going to have all of that put away. And we're going to put the anything we don't need often, if at all. So we don't need two knives, so we want to keep want to keep the best of the best on you, I think. then if you if you need it if you need a backup you've you've got a little bit of a chance there keep some water in here as well we don't need to be carrying around that much water got lots of socks and we're already doing much better weight wise still quite heavy though don't need the gloves don't need all that tea, so put the tea away. Don't need these boots. Perfect. Um, what else? Lots of food items still, which is great. We don't need to be carrying around this much food as well. For food, we're going to carry around the lowest options, though. So, want to keep our chips and uh, what else have we got? Don't need. We don't need two cans of spray paint. Keep our sticks on us, or put them away. Actually, just to give us a little bit more freedom. Now we are no longer overweight, which is awesome. We've got a lot of extra space now, which is awesome. Take the charcoal. Go through absolutely everything. Found ourselves some more food items there. There's another storm lantern, which is awesome. That one's actually quite full. Trying to blow through this, guys. Another bed roll, which is great. We haven't had to use a bed roll yet because we've just been sleeping in 
in buildings, but I mean a bedroll is something that you can just roll out anywhere and and sleep. You got to consider though you got to consider your temperature. You don't want to freeze to death. And you can also be attacked. So if you can sleep in a building, I suggest doing that. So we're going to throw that extra bed roll throw that extra bed roll away. Put it in our trusty box. Got some more dusting sulfur here, another can of spray paint. No gun yet though, eh? I guess I uh, can't have everything, right? Some scrap metal, beautiful. Another hatchet, awesome. All right, now we're at the front of the store. Couple of flares here. Cool, cool. Bandages are always great to have. Worn plaid shirt. All right. Let's take a look and see what we got here. We did just pick up an ear muff thing. Well, that's an accessory. That's awesome. That's super helpful. Got some ear protection now. Look at that. Beautiful. Now, we did find... Okay, that's no big deal. We did find a new shirt. It's got some water protection. But we lose some heat and some wind chill. So we're not going to bother with that one. Nothing. Nothing of use there. Looking forward to finding a gun. That'll be awesome. But that might be a little bit harder than expected. Actually, I don't know why I was expecting it to be easy. We've just been getting quite lucky, I'd say, with gear. Did I go through here already? So this is where we can craft. These workbenches here, we can craft. There was one here and there was one back when we originally started the stream. Uh, there was just a spot outside that one fishing camp there that had a workbench behind the the fishing shelter. But you can use those to craft. So, if you look through here, once we start collecting some rabbit pelts, we can make ourselves some gloves and a hat. Uh, what else do we have for gear? Uh, we can make ourselves a some deerskin boots and pants. Wolf skin coat, bear skin coat, bear skin bedroll, moose hide cloak, moose hide satchel. Make ourselves a bow. And make ourselves some arrows. Hooks. Awesome. So. Oh, there's two more tools right here. Look at that. We just found ourselves a hacksaw and another pry bar.
That is one full locker of gear, my friends. Just put this out. Put that away there. Uh, put one of these hatchets away. And uh, we don't need to be carrying around that many flares. That dusting sulfur or that vest. Cool. Got ourselves a little bit of. Well, we got lots of spray paint. We've found four cans of spray paint already. Three lanterns, two hatchets, two knives, two pry bars. It's uh, quite a bit. It's quite a bit. Um, I think we want to put on some clothing. Keep ourselves nice and warm. So my guy is very tired, and our plan was to just make it, f make it here. So we're not gonna be able to read, not gonna be able to do too much currently. We do have quite a bit of water on us. I'm actually gonna put away some of this normal water, and just carry around the bottles of. There we go. Let's have a sleep here. Have a little bit of food just so we're not just so we're not dead. We won't die, but uh just not we don't want to dip too far in a condition. So eat some chips. A little bedtime snack there. Have a nice ten hour sleep. Let's try that out. Good stuff, good stuff. <clears throat> okay, so we needed to have some water, and I didn't have water before I slept. That's okay. Have some of this, and uh, we'll, we'll have one more. And we'll pop back into bed for a couple hours. Beautiful. What do we got going on? So the sun is coming up. Pretty awesome. Still a little bit, a little bit out for that, but we might be able to sneak in some reading. I don't know if that's possible. Might be too dark. Let's try. Ah, dang. So why don't we? Why don't we have a little bit of, uh, a little bit of this? Let's see if we can get away with it now. Nice, beautiful. Read this book. We want to get this book read, then we can just, uh, not like it's heavy or anything, but we can stop carrying it around with us. Ah, uh, buddy, that's, that's unfortunate. Tried to risk it there, and it didn't work out. All right, so we're pretty good for everything today. Condition's back up to, I don't know, 97%. I think we've gone through this entire building. So what we want to do now is pop back outside and take a look at these buildings, surrounding buildings. Go through all the vehicles. There's a flare there. See, I usually play pretty conservative with these games. I mean, I've picked up quite a bit of stuff, haven't had to use much. And I am quite surprised. But this is a brand new playthrough, so it is tough in some degree when you first start, but also easier in others. I think there might be...
Oh, it's that flagpole. I heard I heard something. I actually thought we might have uh, been in close to encountering some wildlife there, but no. No wildlife. Let's find ourselves a gun here, guys. Let's find ourselves a gun. If we don't find it this stream, we'll definitely find it the next one. We're covering some pretty good ground right now. Shoot him up. Shoot him up, bang, bang. Pork and beans. Nope, nothing in there. What else we got? That sweater's probably pretty good. You know wool sweaters are pretty warm. So that's what we like to see. Wow, that thing's incredible. We need to fix it though. We need to repair that. That thing is amazing. How are we doing? Okay, that's 100% now. Yeah, that thing's amazing. Cool. Because it's better than... Yeah, it's better than the hat. Now, I think if we can put that... Oh, wow. Amazing. Okay. Perfect. Too much stuff to carry. My guy likes to carry a lot of stuff, though. I guess when you're trying to survive, you'll do what you can, right? Sweet. Alright, so we're back outside. Still looking for a shoot 'em up, bang bang. Got two different options. We can either find a rifle or we can find a revolver. If we don't find one here in this map. We might get lucky after, um, I mean, I think the idea will be to head to Mystery Lake. Mystery Lake is pretty, pretty great. Moldy rabbit, nice. And obviously, you don't want to be eating moldy meat, but uh, 
It's cooked. Might get us in trouble in trouble with the wolves. What I do need to do though is I need to I need to check those other fishing huts along the lake. Because there is potential that we'll find ourselves a, a rifle there still. It's crazy how much stuff you can miss if you don't actually have the proper lighting. Like I didn't see that lantern fuel. Didn't see that flare on the table. Uh, and this game, this game's got two different guns. It's got the rifle and it's got the revolver. I think the rifle's probably a little bit easier to aim. And does a little bit more damage, but it's not as quick. It's one shot reload, I believe. I might, I might be wrong. Actually, not reload, but yeah. Not a hundred percent sure on how that was, how that how that rifle works. Yep. Yeah, so you got the rifle and you've got the revolver for guns. Do a little quick stretchy there. Okay, what do we got going on now? I don't need this lantern, and it's actually out of fuel now. I'm gonna eat that meat. Yeah, I'm gonna eat that meat because it's gonna attract some wolves and it's it's getting to the point where it's not gonna be out of ball in a sack, so let's put that in our stomach. Lots of wolves out there. Lots of wolves. I'm just gonna quickly look up how Might just be uh might just be one. Oh okay, there we go. Mm -hmm. No, that's not it. Hmm. Have to figure out how to do that. So I have forgotten.
definitely getting pretty warm, which is which is nice. Not warm to the point where you know I can go and run around in a blizzard and survive, but definitely warmer than um, we started off. I think I'm gonna stop picking everything up because we've got more than enough stuff right now. I got five liters of drinkable water on me. We've got like five liters back, back at the base. Got a ton of flares. Got. Ketchup chips for days, got peaches for days, crackers, grape sodas, oh man. Four pairs of underwear, <laughs> a couple pairs of work boots, a couple pairs of jeans, holy cow. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff. We need to, uh, we need to head back to the original, original site and drop the stuff off. I think. Just a quick backtrack. No big deal. Just gotta get right here. Pop back in the walker. Alright, so that walker's pretty full now, so we can start using the other ones. Just throw this in there. That, 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 that. Put those boots on. Put these away. Put those away. Thirty four pounds still, eh? It's all these cans. These cans are... I don't need anything right now. So... What's the plan of attack here? What would we... Ideally, what, would, what do we need to do? We need to find ourselves a gun. Need to find ourselves a gun. So we might need to travel. We could probably do it today, but we should carry minimal stuff because we want to be quick. So if we drop off a lot of a lot of unnecessary gear right now, let's drop off all this antiseptic. Okay, drop off the hat. Drop off what else we got? We don't need all this charcoal right now. We should bring one though, just so we can mark. Um, what else we got? But all of these cans, though, heavy. It's a lot of weight. We want to travel light, because we gotta we gotta make ourselves gotta get ourselves a, a great distance. Perfect. That okay, so we're looking a little bit better now. So we're a little bit underweight. 
Don't need to bring all that water. We just need a little bit of no enough to survive. And uh, we're looking pretty good. So now what we're going to do is going to... Uh, we don't need to eat. We're fine. We're heading out to see if we can find the rifle. Well, we want to be quick with this. We want to be quick with this. <clears throat> so quick that we might actually run. Now, where we want to go is where I'm looking right now. If you see straight across there, past those wolves, Unless it's there. It might actually be there. Oh, wow. Look at that. So these wolves took down a deer. And there is a lot of wolves and there... Okay. How do we want to play this? I don't have a gun yet. I don't have a gun, but this wolf is interested in me. Hmm. We're going to go inside for a second. And we're going to eat a little bit of food. Harvest time. Yeah, I hope so. That'd be great to grab a deer pelt and start saving up some stuff to um, make some deer equipment. That'd be great. But we got to figure out how to get around this that pack of wolves. I'm not going to be able to do much with without a gun. If I had a gun, it would be worth shooting one of them and having the rest of them run away. But unfortunately, I've got really not much that can scare them away. So if you enter a building and you come out crouched, it's a little bit harder for the de uh, the um, the wolves to pick you up. Your scent is a little bit harder to track. But what I want to do right now is get some distance between him and get to that building across. That deer should be dead there for a little while, a day or two. So this is this is where we need to go. So I'm taking the long way around. So I can avoid those wolves there. Might be a gun in one of these. Might be a gun in that one. So I think what the plan is. We're going to hit this real quick. We're going to see if we can find a gun. So this clothing is keeping us warm. If you see in that bottom right corner. It's the first time that we're actually starting to see... Uh, not too concerned about the heat now, which is nice. Not in current current temperatures. So I think the gun is usually just like laying around if you find one, so not gonna be tucked away in one of these cabinets. We did find a Canadian hat though. So we're gonna repair that because that thing's incredible. <clears throat> awesome. So that's like where we started back there. We're going to go up here now. And up here we might get lucky. Don't know if there's ever a gun up in this cabin, but it's worth a shot. Now, I haven't been marking anything. I'm going to take a chance here. All right, I was able to, which is awesome. Beautiful, beautiful.
I can't remember. I can't remember if this could potentially be a place with a gun. Um, maybe over, maybe over the mantle. I should have swapped out my lantern for one that had fuel. But that's okay. Looks like we might not get lucky in this building either. Wow. That's a good piece of deer right there. 800 calories, that's enough to, you know, survive a full day on. It's getting dark, but it's midday. Okay, so this building turned out to be more of the same. More of the same. Look at absolutely gorgeous day though. Super clear. Super super clear day. Wow. Wonder if those um those wolves took a step away from that that deer carcass. I think those uh I think those crows are actually flying in the direction of the um of the deer. I'm pretty sure that's where they're heading. Did I go through that one yet? I don't know if I went through this one yet. Let's go take a look and see what we got going on. Okay, so there's something dead over there. Alright, so I do see wolves now. And that looks like that deer carcass is still laying there. But that's still too close. Still too close to deal with with no gun. I can't scare that wildlife away from it. I won't be able to harvest, so. It's nice to find some bullets. There's, uh, there's two revolver shells, which is quite nice to have, but still, still no revolver yet. So... I think there's another I think there's another building this direction that we can we can take a look and see but before we do that let's go and check out what these crows are looking at
Hmm, hmm, hmm. What are they looking at? Dead body. Crow feathers are nice so that you can make arrows. It's part of the crafting material you need. A shooting book, that's nice. I don't know what that is that a is that a bin there? What is that? These trees are incredible, and the fact that I'll be able to cut this down is super helpful. Now this here, this green bird sapling is something that we need to cure for a couple days outside. Or not outside, just has to be laid down somewhere. And uh, by doing this, we can make some arrows. So this is awesome. If we can't find a gun, we'll just make a bow. And that'll be perfect. So we're going to take that with us. Those are hard to find. That was a very useful thing. Useful item to find right there. Those crows are loud. Yeah, we want to just keep heading this way. Is that accuracy or what is that? Um, so that book there is um, as you level up your shooting, you become more accurate. There's just less recoil. There's less drift. And it just makes your shot more accurate. So I think you can also land critical shots. So like if you hit them and you didn't hit them in the head, you have a chance to just one shot them even if you didn't get them in the head. Um, which is obviously, you know, great to, um, great to have. Because some of these, some of these animals, like moose and bear, they, they take more than one shot to drop, even with a rifle, so. We found a lot of really good stuff in the first two hours. So I'm feeling quite confident with, you know, moving forward with this playthrough. I'm just I'm looking forward to um, to taking down some wildlife. It's always very cool. I think bows are actually something that I should focus on. So that house is not something you can go through. We got a deer there. Oh, look at the little rabbit. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. I need to drop stuff again. So I think I'm going to drop some stuff in one of these buildings and I'm going to loot that deer. Uh yeah, you can you can craft with the pelts. If you uh if you collect pelts, you can make some deer skin equipment. You can make a rabbit skin helmet and gloves. You can make a uh, bear skin, moose skin. Yeah, there's a couple different clothing options for uh, for using their pelts. So, we're in here, and if there's no fireplace, nope. Just another building. Where do we want to drop the stuff? I, I'm going to drop this right now so I can start curing. So if you see this, in four game days now, this is going to be 100% cured. And it's going to switch from a green birch sapling to, I don't remember what the item's called, but it is called something different. It looks a little different. But we can take that then to a crafting bench and turn that into arrow shafts. And then we can combine things like an arrowhead, crow feathers, and the cured birch sapling to make uh, some arrows. Actually, one of them is for arrows and one is to make the bow. I don't remember, but there is two different, I think there's a birch and a maple sapling that we need to find. So we found the birch, which is great. Um, I'm gonna drop off some of these items. I just need to remember where I'm putting them because I'm just gonna be scattering items all over the place. And that's okay, but uh, Don't want to lose it. That's all. <clears throat> so 
so uh, I think that that might be better than the other thing I'm wearing no so that's okay we'll just put that away Still pretty, uh, pretty overweight. So the thing is, it's like that. Um, I don't need any of these ammo, any of this ammo right now. I actually don't need like any of this stuff because the main goal right now is to harvest that that deer. We need to make use of that. So just want to make sure that we have some stuff on us to make sure. If we end up in a bad situation, we'll be okay. Gonna eat some, eat some food. I wouldn't usually do this. I wouldn't usually eat this much, but at the beginning of the game, when you have all this gear. Uh, Coastal Highway is kind of a good place to come to second or third when you've, you know, had 100 days under your belt. Just because, I mean, every every region has items, um, but I'm quite familiar with Coastal Highway, so I should have maybe left a place I'm familiar with first until a little bit later in the playthrough, but that's also okay. Now, the weather starts to sound like it's starting to change on us. So we want to get out there as soon as we can to get some of that meat. So I'm hoping that we're going to have no problem harvesting if I'm tired. Don't think it's a problem. But I cannot run. So I'm going to have to remember that I have some gear in this house. So what we're going to use is, after we've harvested, we're going to spray paint. <laughs> but we're doing okay. We're, we're up to, we're not, we're not losing any health here. Nice. Beautiful. I'm dropping that meat as a decoy, but oh no. Woo. Okay, so I don't know if we were able to get a stab on him. Holy. Okay. Holy cow. So luckily, luckily, we've managed to avoid blood loss. But they can smell the guts on me. I hope I still have the guts from the deer. That was intense. That was intense. Did we bring home the guts? I hoped. Yes, we did. Beautiful. Now, the guts are really important. The, those guts are very important because we can use those guts to make lines. And then with those lines, we can combine them with hooks and we can fish. So we were able to bring home the guts and that deer pelt. I had to drop. I had to sacrifice that meat. 
That it's crazy. That wolf didn't even want the meat. He wanted me. I dropped that meat for him. I, like that that decoy meat. He didn't care. So you can see up at the top corner when I click on this. See that top there? That little bit of like steam looks like. That's your scent level. So if you're carrying more and more meat, your scent level travels further and you just you um you can bring in a lot more wildlife. Like that was two wolves there that wanted to kill me. And luckily my condition was good enough and I was able to, you know, mash my way through that with that knife. Um, but let's let's take a look at the damage. See how much we encountered there. So we don't have I actually have we've got we've got a sprained oh, we actually don't have any issues. No issues. But they probably did rip some clothing. So that that was ripped. We we made it out okay. Jeans took a little bit of damage. The jeans took a little bit of damage there. So did um so did the helmet, the hat, but uh apart from that we did okay. So we're gonna slip this one on for now. We're getting to the point where we can sleep. It's actually probably a really good thing that I had some food on me as well to eat before I encountered that fight, because uh, that was pretty wild. I thought that that meat was going to be enough to attract them, but they did not care. So we got to remember, I got to remember before I leave today that I'm going to spray this cabin just outside. And if I can, if I got some charcoal on me, which I do. I'm gonna pop outside really quick right now. This game is so much more fun when you're, you know, you're encountering things and you have to deal with it. I mean, that was pretty cool. So, we're gonna mark this area. And now we know. Now we know that we've got this. Just gonna pop back inside. Find this. Grab ourselves the spray paint. Should have grabbed it before, but that's okay. Whew, that was intense. We need to get ourselves a bow as soon as possible. A bow, a rifle, something. So now we just want to mark this so we know that we've got some stuff in here. I'm just going to mark this as materials. Just put it right on our door there. Beautiful. So now we know. Now we know. On our map here, we've got some materials in here. And then the last thing I'm going to do is just to be super, super sure I remember that I've got stuff stashed here. I'm going to actually spray the inside as well. So I know exactly where this stuff is. Oh. Exactly where this stuff is. Where are we going here? There we go. Materials. Beautiful. See now we're all we're all set to go here. We've got some stuff stashed away in here just in case. Materials of, of you know, some food, some whatever else. And uh we're looking good. <coughs> we're looking good. So that is all good to go. We can still go through these cabinets, but the main thing right now is let's get some sleep. And we need to heal. So what we're going to do is we're going to have ourselves a good dinner. And by good dinner, I mean we're going to eat that meat that we just found. Beautiful. Now if we've got something that's quite low, we're going to eat these peaches as well. Eat these up. Perfect. So now we got a lot of food in our belly. We're gonna be able to sleep a full night, and you know we're starting, starting like 50% condition, but after a full solid 10 hours sleep, we should be doing just fine. <sighs> that was intense. I was ex I was not expecting one wolf. I was definitely not expecting two. Our first four four and a half days. Stalker playthrough, everybody. Looking pretty good. Got lots of materials. 
we're gonna keep keep searching for a gun keep curing our deer pelt um, what have we got going on we can actually have a little bit more water and uh, we can also sleep a couple more hours bring ourselves a little bit more into the daytime be max on everything possible again oh yeah beautiful whoa what is this whoa for a second I was lost got 50 58 matches we could have a good fire soon you know but I, I tend to always do this I'm tend to I tend to st stock up on a lot of no lot of supplies my first couple days and then I go pretty aggressive so it's still the plan this playthrough I must have put that away which is okay but I gotta find the way out of this cabin this is kind of a waste but I'm gonna do it anyways because I can't see good thing you can't burn your cabin down because I'm pretty sure I'd be dead Nothing. So yeah, that, that looks great. That's a good paint job there. Looks pretty good. Got ourselves, yeah, 18% cured already, which is looking good. Got our guts 12% cured. Got our, our deer pelt 12% cured. So we're looking good here. Ideally, we should grab some rabbits. Should get ourselves some rabbit stuff if we can. Now, another thing to note is... I would have potentially stabbed both of those wolves when when they when they jumped on me. So there's a good chance that there's two dead wolves in this region now. So if I pay attention, if I pay attention as I'm, you know, walking through this, I could potentially come across these dead wolves and that would be pretty game changing to be getting deer pelts or um Sorry, wolf pelts and stuff like that already. So they didn't pick this meat up, so I'm taking it back. Just going to double check to see if they left any more crow. Yep, here we go. A couple more feathers. Going to need those for arrows soon, so pick them up while we can. Let's see if we can get ourselves. I need to find myself a stone here, because if we can get ourselves a rabbit then why not, right? So what you do is you pick these stones up, you load them in your right hand because you're a baseball player, you just crouch, and you gotta wait for like the perfect moment because these things are quick. Like, if you miss, they run pretty far and it's just kind of annoying. So you gotta be, you gotta be accurate when you throw these stones. And you can only get to a certain distance close to them before they get scared and run away so I think he's behind this oh wow he went right up there eh? this rabbit's crazy now hopefully he's gotta run oh whoa whoa I thought I could load up they don't let you load it up anymore oh wow interesting or maybe ah right okay never mind that was my was my error. It's quite cold today, but one thing about killing those wolves is it looks like I might have scared the rest of them away. Is that the wolf? Guys, we might have ourselves a wolf here. We've got ourselves one of those wolves that fought us, and he bled out. This is what happens when you fight with our stream. You end up dead. This is uh this is incredible. This is a very good find. The only problem is I don't really know if I have a whole lot of fuel on me to keep this fire going. I don't. And we don't want to freeze out here, so we need to set ourselves up properly. We need this. That'd be useful. So Yeah, so that's the nice thing about, you know, wildlife approaching you sometimes is 
you can scare the rest of them away and now we can grab ourselves some wolf meat the wolf pelt some guts just get some more stuff curing oh yeah it's cold it's cold I'm just I'm hoping that it's not gonna be too windy to make a fire but that wolf died recently does that always happen after fending off an attack? No. See, I got lucky that I was able to select the knife in time. Because if you just fight him with your hands, you don't do any damage. And I think you still got to hit like a... Oh, it's cold. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull this off. But I think I do have accelerant. So we're going to use it if I can. Yeah, we need to get this fire going. Now, usually it's not that simple to start a fire. But we're getting really lucky right now. I am really cold and I don't know if this fire is going to get warm enough to warm me up. But we're going to have to see because I really do want to... I really, really, really do want to loot this guy. An hour's not going to be enough, unfortunately. So I need to find more wood. But he's kind of in the middle of nowhere. I can... Hmm. How am I going to do this? I head this direction. Yeah, it's like the day's just starting, so the day will get warmer, which is nice. But we definitely want to harvest that guy. So once we uh, once we harvest, we'll be uh, we'll be doing good. Nothing like a nice wolf pelt, you know? Wolf pelt, some meat, some guts. My guy is quite cold though, so I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that. Might not be able to harvest today like I was hoping. Gonna have to see. What I really need is like a large log like this. And I can cut one. But am I gonna freeze if I cut this down? We're gonna we're going for it. Okay. Now, I've got three logs that should last like three hours whoops <laughs> you gotta be careful when you throw those stones you don't want it to pop back up and pop your eight in the face <laughs> do you think my fire's still going what do we think if that fire's not going still we're in a we're, we're in a rough place but it's pretty windy so there's, it's potentially not going still. I don't even see it. So I think by now we should see that fire. Hmm. Yeah, that fire went out. Ooh. This is going to be crazy. This is going to be crazy. I don't know if it's going to be possible to actually get this fire going. It burned out. I, I don't know how. Because I felt like we had... Ooh. Yeah, we're doing it. We don't have much of an option right now. we got to get this fire going. It's too windy to start a fire here. Then why'd you let me start that fire? i got to take the chance, guys. I just don't know if this fire is going to be warm enough to keep me alive. That's another thing i got to consider right now. Let's get some food in me just in case. Like that fire is going to last long, long enough, but I just don't know if it's got enough. 20 degrees. Oh, yeah, we're good. Oh, seven minutes. Oh, my God, that wind just blew that fire right out. This is no good. This is no good. It's super, super windy. Wow, dang. What do I do here? I could take I'll take the I'll take the hide cuz I'll survive. That fire's going to go out. But I've got the hide. Oh! Oh my. Oh my. Take the meat, dude. I don't want it. I'm taking the hide though. You can have that, but I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I think what we're going to do right now, so I'm just making sure right now he's not going to approach. 
He might be okay just having that wolf and that meat I dropped him. Yo, we're encountering a lot of wildlife now. All of a sudden, everything wants to fight. This is insane. I think I think we found we we came to a good deal there. Whoa, where's he going? You see him? He's going to attack something, I think. Oh, this is this is scary, guys. This is what we're going to do. I'm I'm real cold and I need to get out of here. So, I'm going to run straight. I'm going to take cover up in that building. We're going to get warm. We're going to drop that pelt. We gotta be quick, 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 though. Some are already probably getting into a scary place in terms of pneumonia. Then oh, I'm gonna end up with pneumonia for like a couple days. <laughs> Punch his head. <laughs> Punch him right in the head, man. So we've encountered wolves. And we've encountered a bear already. Pretty good. It's definitely starting to pick up now, which is great. Just looking forward to bowing down some wildlife and But we're we're just taking the important things that we can right now, so Oh this ain't good guys. I'm not gonna make it back in time. Okay, I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. So I I could die really quickly right now if I don't get myself Ooh, this is why you carry bandages. I was able to stop the blood. And we gotta get up here. We gotta get away from that bear, that wolf. I think I injured him. Holy cow, man. Everything wants a piece of me now. Two hours in and I'm ready for fight night. You know what I'm saying? Tag me in, coach. <laughs> Holy cow. We're going to go upstairs. We're going to sleep off that craziness we just encountered there. So we're going to have that tea for improved rest. And we, we got to heal up. So we're going to sleep all night. Just going to sleep all night. Oh, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. What I should have done there was put that... Put that... Um, that hide down first because all of that sleep time would have went to cure time if I would have put that down before I uh, before I did that but that's okay this is why we leave a little bit of water around because now it's out of water completely I was able to get some there I think I picked up some guts too no or did I have to drop those I had to drop those. I'm looking for a place to... I gotta put this torch away so it fades. Right? What? I thought, I thought if you put items that are broken into a thing, it gets rid of them, but may, I might be wrong. Wow. Well... I think this is a good place to call it. We've got, uh, let's take a look and see how many days under our belt. Uh, I think it might, maybe it's here. Day six. We've explored 8% of the world. Um, we rested for quite a while. We ate a lot. We got two injuries. So the lowest our health has been was 45%. But we're bouncing back pretty good. Bouncing back pretty good. But I think that's where we're going to call it for now, though. Which is uh, a very fun first stream. Feeling very uh, excited to get on this again real soon. Possibly tomorrow. Possibly Wednesday. Probably Wednesday. And we'll get like a good two to four hour stream in. Um, but yeah. This is where we're going to call it. So I think what I'm going to do right now, really quick, just, just get this to make sure it's saved. We are all saved up. So.
thank you very much for joining the first stream ever for Friendly Frenzy Games. We did our first six days on the long dark on Stalker. Found some good gear, encountered some wildlife, and uh, I think we all had a good time here. So we will catch you in the next episode. Peace.